Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Um, it is a real thrill for me to be here today. My name is Ken Fennerin, and I am the Chief People Officer for the Americas at Hellman Worldwide Logistics. Now, many of you will probably say, what the heck is a Chief People Officer? Um, and while it is a cool sounding title, it encompasses many, many things. Um, you'll hear me talk about our corporate DNA of the organization that I work for, Hellman Worldwide Logistics, a little bit later, and our owners felt very, very strongly when we introduced our corporate DNA, the first element of which is first, people first, that we have a C-level executive in each of our core regions, so Asia, Europe, and the Americas, who would be responsible for all things people-related. So not just your traditional human resources, but also for community relations, meetings such as this, employer branding, of which this is a part as well, corporate social responsibility, which I'll talk about a little bit later, as well as all of learning and development for the organization and external outreach that we do on behalf of our organization to the community and colleges such as this. So in addition to being the chief people officer for Hellman Worldwide Logistics, I have a great affinity for this institution in particular. Um, I don't know if my bio was shared with some of you. However, I actually serve on one of the advisory boards here at this university. Some of you know that one of the largest pieces of this institution is its School of Continuing Education. And one of the things I speak about quite often is the need for lifelong learning. That learning doesn't stop once we get our initial degree. And if we ever stop learning or think we've reached a certain level because we've gotten to a particular position, then we are actually falling behind. So I sit on the advisory board of the School of Continuing Education here at Miami-Dade College and, and am very proud to be associated with this institution. And what I'll be talking about today are the opportunities within the logistics industry and trade and logistics right here in South Florida. Most of us, when we come to college or university, are looking for a degree that is going to offer us opportunities to get a job when we get out, to have a prosperous career, career advancement opportunities, et cetera. And all of those things are possible within trade and logistics right here in South Florida. And I'll give you some statistics as we go to back that up. Now, what you see here is not only a welcome and thank you from myself, but also a Twitter handle. Um, so most of the time when someone comes and speaks to you, I imagine they ask you to silence your phones, turn them off, put them away, etc. I would encourage you, if any of this resonates with you, to pull out your phone, share openly, hashtag Hellman, hashtag MDC, use my Twitter handle, et cetera, because I believe one of the things that our industry also struggles with, although we are getting better, is leveraging social media and technology as a major component. The things that appeal to your generation more so than mine that will allow us to be successful as we move forward in the future as well. So again, if that is something that uh, appeals to you and you'd like to do, and hopefully there will be some things that I say that resonate with you, then please feel free to share that on Twitter, Instagram, whatever your, your hot page is these days. If I can ask you to move forward, please. So again, our topic today is going to be talking about a few things. Over the next 20 to 30 minutes or so, I will be talking about the logistics industry in general and why it is such a great opportunity for you here to consider as a potential career option as you go through business, accounting, IT, engineering, et cetera, because all of those feed into our industry, which is one of the fastest growing here in South Florida, the nation, and globally. In addition to that, I'll be presenting a brief case study just to give you a little bit informa of information about who I am and what our organization does. But more importantly, perhaps most importantly, and I think most interestingly for all of you, is I will be sharing towards the end several opportunities that we have within our organization 
for you to come join our family. Our corporate DNA is an acronym of the word family, and so we talk about family members rather than employees or even associates. Our family members, you having the potential to join our family at Hellman through internships, a junior sales program, an intergrad program, or even the International Logistics and Management Program as if you were to proceed further through our management tracks. So all of these are things I'll talk about briefly as we move forward. If I can ask you to please click a little further. So again, I've gone over briefly um, this agenda, but again, as I said, I wanted to also have a chance to find out a little bit more about you. I do believe that the, the best type of presentations are those that are interactive and so I, I would be very curious to just get via a show of hands um, who here is interested in a career potentially in international business something that has to do with business or international business fantastic has anyone here and please be honest, I'm not going to be offended e either way, um, before today, considered a career in trade and logistics. One, don't be so shy about it, it's okay. A couple of you. And again, as I said, shame on us. Shame on us, myself, my colleagues in the industry, because we haven't presented it as a viable career option for most of you. So you probably haven't heard about what a great industry it actually is. Along those lines, have any of you had any courses in trade, distribution, logistics, supply chain, anything at all? If not, that's not also not a requirement for a future in logistics, although it is something that would certainly help. Miami-Dade College is one of the leaders, actually the pioneer here in South Florida in that area, having both a certificate program, Global Logistics Associate Certification, as well as a new bachelor's degree in supply chain and logistics. I'll leave that out. That's my promotion for Miami-Dade College. Great institution. And if anyone is interested, please see me um, later as well as the, the individuals here from Miami-Dade College to find out more about those. But let's um, talk, a we will talk about the industry intro, why logistics, what is logistics, but why should we be interested in it? I'll share a little bit about Hellman, as I said, and then focus on some of those programs before we get into the Q&A. Does that sound fair? All right. Um, if I can ask you to move forward, please. So the industry info. If I say the word, if you can actually click back, you're giving away some of the answers. I'm teasing. It's all good. Um, if I say supply chain, logistics, trade, freight forwarding, what are some things that come to mind for you? I realize it's Monday morning, but this has to be the interactive part. Here we go. Traveling. Traveling? Okay. Trade. Traveling, trade. Just shout them out. I'll, I'll try to keep up. What else? Any companies that come to mind? Amazon. I'm sorry? Amazon. Amazon. UPS. Amazon, UPS, OK. Anybody else or Post anything office. else? Again? Post office. Post office, yes. USPS, US Postal Service. FedEx. FedEx. What do they do? What, when you think about what do those organizations do, what, what comes to mind? Uh, again, I heard a lot of answers there. didn't catch any of them. So once again, ship goods. So shipping. What else? Offer goods. Several of them do. That's right. I'm going to expand on that a little bit. Goods and services. But rightly so. They offer goods and services. FedEx and UPS have both bought organizations that were separate organizations in the supply chain of document management. So Kinko's, that many of you know, I'm sure, is now FedEx Kinko's or FedEx Office. Um, similarly, UPS bought, um, I think it was PacMail, if I'm not mistaken, one of the, uh, again, similar to Kinko's, but on a smaller scale. 
and is doing that also for small scale supply chain and document management, postal services, et cetera. Anything else? All right, that's actually a pretty good list. Now, um, let me also go, go back and ask a couple more questions before we identify a little bit uh, of that. And again, please be honest, um, when you heard that there may be a speaker coming from Hellman to share some thoughts with you, how many of you thought that you were going to hear from someone from a mayonnaise company? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first, so I, I wouldn't, be, wouldn't be appalled to hear that. Um, they do a much better job than currently our organization does in terms of branding. They're owned by Unilever, uh, one of the top five brand marketers in the world. And there are parts of Latin America where Hellman's mayonnaise is synonymous word th with the word mayonnaise, similar to Kleenex being synonymous with facial tissue here. Our goal long term is that Hellman Worldwide Logistics will also become synonymous with logistics, supply chain integration, et cetera, long term. That we will be the first name that comes to mind when I say, when you hear the word logistics, what comes to mind? UPS, FedEx, DHL, USPS all came out, and I'm not offended that none of you said Hellman. However, again, that means that we still have a long way to go. And that par part of uh, my being here is also to promote what we do and what, how we are different, why we are different. So let me first say just a few words again. At least I don't think there's going to be a test on these things, but I want to just mention some of the ways that we are oftentimes referred to at Hellman. Oftentimes, and first and foremost, we're referred to as a freight forwarder. And I'll talk in a moment about what that is. Sometimes we're referred to as a 3PL, a third-party logistics company. And oftentimes we're referred to as an integrated or full-service logistics or supply chain company. So if I can ask you to just click a couple more times to get some of the other images up here. Again, some of the words that oftentimes are associated with logistics, supply chain, et cetera, are around product, manufacturing, delivery, distribution, inventory, et cetera. And I assure you, we touch any and all of those in what we do in our day-to-day -day business. We do that through various modes. We act as the middleman, in fact, in what we generally do is the easiest way to describe it is we act as a travel agent for freight. It's the easiest analogy I can give, which means that we have companies, and I'll show you some of our clients in just a few moments, um, that use us to move the goods which are produced. Um, those of you who are wearing sweaters, sweatshirts, clothing of any type, which I'm glad to see all of you are, probably have something on you that we move on behalf of some of our customers. So as an example, Abercrombie & Fitch, Gap, Limited Brands, so Victoria's Secret. All of those are our clients, Philip Van Heusen, Boss, all of those are, are fashion companies that we move their goods. Now, as you can probably imagine, most of those things are not manufactured here in the US. But when you go into a Gap, an A&F store, Victoria's Secret, to buy those things, they have to have gotten here somehow. They use companies such as ours to take them from the manufacturing facility, either to a shipping port, or in most cases in the fashion industry, to an airport. They then transport them to a central distribution facility, in this case in Columbus, Ohio, for most of these companies. We do the customs clearance, because anything that's coming in that's for sale, the US government wants to get taxes on that. And as a result, we do the customs clearance. We then take it into our distribution facility or their distribution facility. And then we also help them with the domestic distribution to the stores where you, the consumer, can purchase it. So that's the life cycle of some of what we do and how everything from the pens you're using to the folders on your desks um, likely got here from somewhere else. And uh, I say that because as great of a city as Miami is, we only have two Fortune 500 companies with headquarters here in Miami. And so most, uh, in neither of them are major manufacturers. It's Ryder Corporation and World Fuel Services. And so most of the things that are manufactured are manufactured elsewhere 
and they need to be brought here. But thankfully, there are 1,400 multinational corporations with some type of headquarters and operations here, so the multinationals, and over 1,300 trade and logistics services companies here in Miami-Dade County. So with that said, um, if I can ask you to click a couple more, there are a couple of other uh, images here. Some of what I just touched on there, you'll see it goes from one PL, first party logistics providers are the cargo owners, the manufacturers, transportation companies, logistics companies, and supply chain management companies. Again, the first one of our competitors that was mentioned was UPS, which has done a great job of owning this we love logistics symbol. And, and again, I appreciate what they do because at least when I come to ask folks, have you heard of logistics, at least they're able to say yes because they've seen it during football games or, or whatnot. If I can ask you to move forward, please. We'll go through these very, very quickly. These are really the four areas that were just up there, but again, are key to our industry. I'm just going to talk very briefly about them. Freight forwarding is done by a non-vessel owning carrier corporation, common carrier. And again, the NVOCC, somebody like Hellman, helps move organizing shipments for individuals or corporations and getting them from the manufacturer to market or to the customer. I will allow you to read the rest on your own. I definitely won't read all of these out. If you can go to the next one, please. Again, a third party logistics provider, to give you another example of what we do, is one that oftentimes uses special advanced warehousing techniques. So how many of you have taken a cruise? Anybody? All right, obviously when you're on a cruise, it's like a floating city, correct? And before I joined Hellman, I had never thought about the logistics necessary to get all of those things that make that cruise experience so special onto the ship. Whether it's the beds that are in the room, the showers, the food, etc. All of the major cruise lines, the three largest ones, so Carnival, NCL, and Royal, are all our clients or one of or more of their lines. And in terms of a 3PL, Everything that goes on to a, a Royal Caribbean cruise ship in terms of cargo, except for some of the fresh produce, which is loaded at different points along that cruise, comes through a warehouse that we manage on behalf of Royal Caribbean up in Weston. So again, we act as a third party. They own the warehouse, we manage it on their behalf, and we make sure everything gets to that ship right on time because that ship is going to leave regardless of whether we have those things there or not. The uh, most money a cruise line, if you will, loses or dead time is when that cruise is in the port. It wants to get out into international waters so people can gamble, shop, do whatever they do on cruises, uh, have a good time out there. And so we make sure that is able to happen. If I can ask you to move forward. And then logistics, is the management of the flow of goods and information. And if I can ask you to click one more time, supply chain and especially supply chain management brings all of those elements together. So whether you hear an organization talked about as a forwarder, a 3PL, an integrated logistics company, or a supply chain management company, these are the things that they generally do. They're moving goods as well as information to make sure that you, the consumer, are able to get the things that you need to get um, at the time of need. So if I can ask you to click one more time. So that brings us to logistics in South Florida. And I do have some handouts for you here. And I hope I have enough. If you can just um, take one and pass it back then, and I'll do the same. Over here, if I can ask you to just pass those around. Miami, and I'll, I'll actually, if you guys want to look at these, um, feel free to. I'll just pass these around. Miami is already known as the trade and logistics hub of the Americas. Now, as I said, many of you are probably thinking about business and why business, why should I go to business school, in the sense of you're thinking, what a great opportunity that gives you 
to get a job upon completion of your degree. And while I studied business as well, um, I actually studied something called international studies, which was a combination of international politics, international history, and international business up in Washington, D.C. many moons ago. And in addition to that, I had the great opportunity to travel and work in various countries as part of my career. So I have spent approximately 17 years working in countries such as Germany, the UK, Austria, and Poland, in addition to the US, where now my responsibility extends over all of the Americas. So at least once a year, usually twice a year, I'm in countries ranging from Canada down to the tip of South America. I have at least one trip over to our global headquarters, which is in Germany. I usually have at least one trip over to meet with my colleague in Asia. So whoever had mentioned traveling as a perk of our industry, certainly that is something which is very prevalent in terms of the opportunities within our industry. But let me get to the real stats of employment within trade and logistics here in South Florida. If I can ask you to click just once, there we go. It is surprisingly, I say, surprisingly for most individuals, the largest industry in terms of the percentage of employment in all of South Florida. 13% of our workforce is directly tied to trade and logistics companies. Those are statistics from the Beacon Council. It has a very high projected rate of growth over the next 10 years. So by 2020, its average growth will be 26%. That is tremendous. In comparison, the only other industry, especially here in South Florida, that comes close is the healthcare industry um, that also has high projected growth rates. So trade and logistics, again, very, very up and coming. There are over 1,300 trade and logistics companies right here in Miami, the largest of which are the companies you mentioned, UPS, FedEx, US Postal Service, DHL, Hellman, and many of our mid-tier competitors such as Expeditors, Panalpina, et cetera. There are tremendous advancement opportunities. The growth rate for young people right now in our industry is staggering. Because we know that Generation Y will represent over 50% of the employment or the workforce by 2020, at the latest 2022, we are very eager, not just at Hellman, but in all of the logistics companies, to engage you and your peers to help us reach your colleagues, your peers who will also be part of the consumer market, but also the decision makers in many of our customers. There is solid pay within our industry, as well as training and development opportunities, many of them international. And I'll talk about a few of ours um, in just a few moments. Access to global companies. So you heard me mention a few of those major companies. Yes, could you go work for Royal Caribbean? It's a tremendous company. I have a great deal of respect for them. Same with limited brands. Um, same with Sony. Latin America, another one of our clients. Bang & Olufsen, high-end electronics, another one of our clients. Or some of the automotive companies where we are also very strong. Of course you could go and meet, work with all of them, but likely your logistics track would be fairly narrow. Or you could opt to work for an international freight forwarder, an integrated logistics company such as Hellman, and have access to all of those companies doing and maximizing the value of their supply chain. If I can ask you to click, please. So I promise I'll go through this quickly. This is our brief commercial, if you will. But it is a true honor and blessing for me to be involved with a company that has such a rich history, as well as a commitment not only to its employees, but to our partners, our customers, that have allowed us in our 144-year-old history to grow into the largest privately held, family-owned and operated logistics company in the world. So we were founded in 1871 by Carl Heinrich Hellman, 
whose uh, face is blended into the background there. What makes us special is that until this day, we are family owned and operated. We are now a $3.6 billion organization. The newest figures just came out. And we have approximately 20,000 dedicated associates in 157 countries around the world. We are a full service logistics provider, meaning we provide all of those services that you saw on that list a little bit earlier. If I can ask you to go ahead. Um, our motto is, or slogan, thinking ahead, moving forward. And as many of you search for employment opportunities, I encourage you to seek out those organizations which are at the forefront of innovation. But more importantly, I encourage you to truly focus on one thing, and that one thing is to follow your passion. I've been very fortunate that in my career, I've been able to follow my passion around leadership, leadership development, human resources, and have been able to get engaged with some fantastic companies, including Hellman. But the first thing I had to do was to be very clear about where do my passions lie. And hopefully for many of you, that is in this business sector. Perhaps it will be in the trade and logistics sector. Perhaps it will be in the international business segment. And for some of you, I recognize that it may be in accounting or finance. And it may not be here. But whatever that is, follow that passion because that's what's going to lead you ultimately to success. The Hellman Geese, again, we don't have a set of geese that are owned by us. However, we call it the Hellman Geese because it's part of our logo. You'll see it just about everywhere, including on my lapel. And geese, while many other freight forwarders, logistics companies have a truck, a plane, a ship in their logo, we have geese because we think it stands for something much more than just the transportation we deliver. Geese in the animal kingdom are one of the few animals that mate for life. And while that's not our core message necessarily, it is all about that, that intense partnership that we are looking to be our customers and our employees' trusted partner, long-term partner. In addition, they're very caring animals, and we talk a lot about family in our organization. So if a goose is flying in formation, which by the way, that V formation um, allows that flock to be approximately 18% more efficient in terms of going somewhere than if they were to fly alone. We are very big in terms of teamwork, and we are very big in helping our customers be more efficient in what they do. So that the geese flying in formation, if one of the geese is shot down or gets sick and falls out of formation, another goose, usually even two, go down and remain with that goose until it is nursed back to health. Then they go together and fly back and, uh, and join another formation. Again, some of the principles that we aspire to, which are not just all about the principle of maximizing profitability, but the care, concern, and driving true long-term partnerships with our customers and our employees. And all of that is part of our corporate DNA. And if I can ask you to click one more, you'll see the components of that corporate DNA up there. As I said, it is an acronym of the word family. And the F in that stands for first, people first. I will go one step further to say we recognize and believe fully in the fact that customer engagement will never outpace employee engagement. Customer engagement will never outpace employee engagement. So we are very, very intent and intentional about our efforts to make sure our employees feel valued, respected, heard, understood, encouraged, enabled, because we believe that in turn, they will now our, allow our customers to feel exactly the same. That leads to all about the customer always. Again, the customer is at the forefront of what we do. Making it better every day, continuous improvement, innovation and entrepreneurship, being enterprising and seeking those opportunities. Live sustainability, economic sustainability, 
environmental sustainability, and social sustainability. And then finally, you and me, all about the spirit of teamwork, which relates back to the geese as well. This is just another picture of where we are located around the world. And as you see, both with our own offices and our partners, we literally have the world covered. If you can click ahead. I won't spend much time on this, just to mention that our America's headquarters, unlike most of our uh, competitors, is right here in the great city of Miami, actually in the great city of Doral, um, so just a little bit north of here, where many of the logistics companies are headquartered. And we have many of the certifications um, necessary for being a top 20 logistics service provider. In case anyone was wondering, I talked about Hellman being a leading provider. Right now, in terms of freight forwarding, globally, we are at rank number 14 or 15, depending on who is ranking that, in terms of three PL, third-party logistics providers, at number 13, and in terms of integrated logistics service providers at number 16 globally. Now, when we look into the individual markets, in Latin America, we are a top five player in all of the core markets, including Mexico, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela. Um, when we look to Asia, we are a top five air freight provider. We are a top 10 um, sea freight provider there. So again, these are core markets also for our growth and ones which certainly when we think about Miami as the trade and logistics hub of the Americas will continue to grow and we do expect to expand our workforce here in Miami. I spoke by giving a few examples about our services, but to, I mentioned we act oftentimes as a travel agent for freight. So there is a company that needs to move its goods. Sometimes that's by air freight, like many of the fashion customers. Many of the manufacturing customers, and also because it is cheaper, prefer to move their goods via sea freight. It takes longer but again, it is much, much cheaper. So we work with the seaports and our carriers to do just that. There's also a combined service we offer called Sea and Air. Has the, the price advantage of sea freight as well as somewhat increased speed of the air freight. And you can see some of the other services there. If we can go on. Here are some of our shipping partners. We tend to have 10 to 12 preferred partners, both on the airline side as well as the shipping side. The preferred partners, we try to move 70 to 80% of our cargo with those preferred partners. That allows us to negotiate very good competitive rates with them that ultimately benefits our customers. I mentioned some of our uh, clients and you'll see several of them down here at the bottom. We also have what we call industry solution segments. So everything from healthcare, cruise lines, perishables, um, automotive, electronics, retail, fashion, and chemicals, we tend to cover a very broad area in terms of these industry segments. We have separate vice presidents over each of these industry segments, um, which allows us to be true experts in maximizing the value of their supply chain. Again, here's just another uh, depiction of some of, the, some of our great clients, many of which I'm sure you're very, very familiar with. Feel free to go ahead. And value creation. This is a picture of our two owners. There are co-owners. Both were actually in the office last week. They reside in Germany, which is where our global headquarters um, is, in the northern part of Germany. But we believe that through our financial stability, our experience, as well as, of course, our fast decision making, state of the art IT solutions, entrepreneurship, customer focus, and customized solutions that we can meet the needs of our customers as well, if not better, than anyone in the marketplace. If I can ask you to please continue. Now, I promised I would get to this, and I know that you had to wait a little, although this is probably what interested you most. 
within our industry, there are various opportunities for folks like yourselves to get engaged even while you are still studying. Some of those opportunities include internships. The location where we have the most internships in the entire United States is Miami. It is our US headquarters, it's our America's headquarters, and it, we also have our Miami branch and Fort Lauderdale branches right here in South Florida. So there are opportunities um, for engagement via internships. All of our internships are paid internships, and we work with colleges if there is an opportunity to receive credit through a type of workforce or development or work study arrangement at your institution. In addition to that, we have upon graduation something we call the International Graduate Program. This is a two-year operational training program that allows folks who are interested in international business and logistics to find out everything they need to know about logistics. Upon completion of this, they will be ready to move into either a, a higher specialist role or a supervisor role if they have elected the management track. Our junior sales program is the newest program. We will be hiring 30 to 45 brand new graduates and or individuals who have zero to three years of experience where we will walk them through initially a six week training program about our products, services, et cetera. We will give them sales methodology, professional sales skills, as well as the single sales principle. And we will teach them through mentoring, sales shadowing, um, as well as ongoing coaching, how to be effective sales professionals within our industry. So again, these are a few things um, that we launch. And I just put this additional program here as well called the International Logistics Management right. Program is one which we feature for our highest level high potentials. This is usually after five to 10 years within our industry, um, allowing folks who are already perhaps at a corporate controller type of level or a branch manager to go into global management roles. Again, this is another two year program that is not only a certificate from Hellman, but you receive a dual certificate from the European Logistics Academy. If I can ask you to just click to the. Okay. I uh, if I can just ask you to click. I this is the last slide. So um, I, I apologize be, uh, for starting a few minutes late. I recognize that some of you need to leave. I will be available if there are any questions um, afterwards. I thank you very much for your time and attention and welcome any discussions you might have.